you first of all, good to have you here in Melbourne. Thanks Edward, yeah, it's a good time of year to be here. You reunite with Lion Tamer and the Cox Plate, what do you think of his run in the Caulfield Stakes? Well, it's disappointing on face value, uh, probably it wasn't run to suit, and he was asked to make a long run, but if he, he was a short price favourite, and if he was going to win he had to do that, but what disappointed me about it was that just the last furlong he just appeared to throw the white towel in, um, you know, I mean he probably going to be flat out winning but would have liked to, to have seen him be competitive at least but I mean I'm not throwing the toys out of the cot just yet we'll, um, the blinkers will go on and it's a bit of a quirky animal so I'm sure he can bounce back Did you ride him work this morning? Yeah I put him through his paces this morning he worked with, alongside Wall Street and I thought they both worked particularly well and of course he ran second in the Vars last year at Mooney Valley over the same course and distance so he'd, uh, he obviously handles the track. Yeah, he's got no problem with the track and that was a really good run actually. So I think they actually ran quicker time than so he thinks Cox Plate. So, and he led all the way and got collared, got tied the last bit. So the horse has got loads of ability. It's just a case of having a bit of luck in running and getting the best out of him. It looks like a very even Cox Plate this year. I think it's a strong race. Uh, I think it's the strongest race we've seen for a few years and I'm just really pleased to be a part of it all. You can't partner Dan Lee this morning, are uh, your thoughts there? He feels fantastic, um, you know he's getting on now but he's, he's as enthusiastic as ever and his action feels terrific and I think it's a really suitable race for him. Manicato Stakes winner, so Mooney Valley holds no issues for him either. That's exactly right. And, you know, he's won over a mile too, so, you no, know, he's it's just a great off the top level too, and he's a four-time Group 1 winner, so he's, he's well-paced.